How's it hanging, YouTube? Let's talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem. It's mint. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Quick spoiler filled review of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. <laughs> Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem, just back from the cinema, haven't seen it. Fair to say I went into this movie with low expectations. I'd seen the trailer and I thought it was quite um, childlike compared to my iteration of the Turtles. Some of the voice cast for the actual Turtles themselves seemed a bit young to me. Um, so I went in thinking this is going to be a cartoon for kids. The Turtles cartoon, of course it's for kids. Anyway, went in thoroughly enjoyed it. This is a phenomenal movie. One of the best movies I've seen this year so far, in fact. And in fact, and I'm gonna get a bit of hate for this, I'd go as far as to say this is better for me than Across the Spider-Verse. I had more fun, I had more laughs, and I enjoyed it overall, much more than I did in Across the Spider-Verse. That's not to say Across the Spider-Verse isn't a good film, it isn't, it's marvelous. Um, <laughs> see what I did there, marvel. Um, but I just had more fun with this. Let's talk about the voice acting cast. They are stunning. You've got some massive big name hitters in here. You know, you've got your John Cena, your Seth Rogen, all those kind of people are superb. Standout for me though, has got to be Jackie Chan as Splinter. He is amazing. He's got some great lines in it. He's funny, he's heartfelt. And as a father myself, I really felt for some of his story arc. Stunning. For me, the interaction of the four main characters, the four turtles, was stunning. I loved the banter backwards and forth. I really, really enjoyed the humour. Um, and the action sequences, as I've said, were top notch. Now let's get a little bit into the story. This basically retells the turtles' origin. You see them developing, you see them growing. Now, big time turtles fans may have a problem with this. There are some changes to the origin, there are some um, some swap arounds a little bit. Splinter's origin in particular is quite different. How they learn martial arts is very different, but it works. It works really well, and that's one of my favorite montages of the entire movie, to be perfectly honest. In terms of some of the character designs, phenomenal. The imagery is amazing, the redesigns are stunning. I really, really enjoyed them. As the story develops, you get this beautiful narrative of a parent who's basically trying to hold his children back to keep them safe from the big bad world outside. Something I can completely um, align with myself as a father. In essence, the story is about the ooze, and I like to say that, ooze. The ooze affecting um, a whole host of mutants and creating uh, two separate families, the turtle family and Superfly's family. Superfly goes down one path, which is he wants to kill all humans, and that's where the main conflict starts. We get some great scenes with Superfly and his team, who are going to be, I'm sure, standout characters and amazing toy figures, I'm sure. By the end of the movie, the kind of the Superfly's plan starts to bear fruit, and you see this great scene at the end of a kaiju basically destroying New York City. The end of the movie, spoilers, puts turtles in a really interesting place. A place that I'm not sure I've seen before for the turtles, which is basically they're unmasked and the public knows all about them and they're going to high school. Uh, I'm not sure if that's canon. I don't know if that's happened in comics and cartoons before, but it's really interesting. Now, let's touch on the elephant in the room. All the middle-aged dweebs on the internet have obviously kicked off because we've got a bit of a race swap character in April O'Neil. So, here's my take on it. Get a f life. She's superb, she's absolutely brilliant in this, and it makes not a jot of difference what colour her skin is. So grow up and just accept it. So overall for me guys, as you've probably guessed, I thought this was a stunning movie. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The animation style works for us. The humour was top notch. The voice acting was top notch. I'm finding it really hard to pick any fault at all with this particular film. For me, it's a 5 out of 5, and I really do recommend you go and check it out. Okay, that's your whack. If you like this kind of stuff, please do consider liking and subscribing to my channel, hitting the little bell notification, and all that jazz. We'll catch you next time. Take care.